in Seam 5 in CRISP we uh, work on socio-economic research that is designed for better targeting of uh, technologies and information to farmers, uh, but also policy research, including even research on understanding what research priorities should be and a lot of research on understanding the impact from our research. So in 2011, a study was conducted in collaboration uh, with ASIA, the Australian Centre for International Agricultural Research, to measure the impact of uh, eerie germplasm or eerie modern varieties uh, that uh, were released after 1985 in three countries, in Indonesia, in Philippines and Vietnam. And it's very interesting to see that despite uh, changes uh, in terms of what kind of impact we had, uh, the impact uh, numbers that we have obtained from this study show that eerie germplasm development is still a very large component uh, of the direct economic impact that comes from improved varieties in these countries. Uh, so the study found that uh, uh, on average over the last uh, 25 years in these countries the annual economic benefit uh, from just the eerie germplasm improvement uh, amounts to about 1.5 billion dollars per year. So that's of course uh, a huge uh, rate of return. It's a rate of return, internal rate of return of about 30. And what we are particularly excited about is that uh, the study also finds that uh, more and more of that impact uh, is not necessarily through the direct release of area varieties but through the release of varieties bred by our national partners in the national breeding program but utilizing area germplasm as part of their breeding. So it just shows that uh, investments in rice research uh, can have very high rates of return, that the impact is measurable and the impact is large.